Hello viewers welcome to our channel in this video we will see the origin of one of the famous kings in mahabharata called shantanu maharaja and his son devavrata who was also called as bhishma from king bharata down to 15 generations later came shantanu maharaja who was also the grandfather of the pandavas and the kauravas in his previous life Shantanu Maharaja was known as Mahabishep. He lived a full life doing thousands of yagnas and after life he entered the Devaloka and was part of Lord Indra's court. One day Goddess Ganga visited Indra's court and when the winds blew in a moment of unawareness Ganga's clothes got displaced revealing her body while all the other gods in the Indra's court bent their heads as an appropriate gesture mahabishek was gazing at ganga lord indra noticed this mahabishek's inappropriate gesture cursed mahabishek to be born as a mortal and go through the pain and pleasures of being mortal lord indra also noticed ganga relishing mahabishek's act and also cursed her to take the mortal life and her curse will be lifted once ganga breaks mahabishek's heart in that life so mahabishek in his next life became the shantanu maharaja in the lineage of chandravamsha king shantanu was supposed to meet ganga in this life but he was not conscious of his memories of previous life but ganga being a celestial goddess was aware of her previous life and was waiting for shantanu one day When King Shantanu went for hunting he felt thirsty and was in search of water and found a river flowing by he went closer to the river to quench his thirst but then a miracle happened Ganga arose from the river as an incredibly beautiful woman and in that moment Shantanu Maharaja fell in love with Ganga King Shantanu pleaded Ganga to marry him Ganga set for the condition to shantanu maharaja that he should not question ganga no matter what she does in case if he questions ganga's act she will immediately leave him forever shantanu agreed ganga's strange condition and they both got married days passed on and ganga delivered her first child with shantanu she took the baby to the river and drowned it King Shantanu witnessing this was heartbroken but did not question Ganga worrying that she may leave him like this one by one seven sons were born and drowned by Ganga Shantanu Maharaja was horror struck by this insane act of Ganga but still could not question her act as she may leave him when Ganga was about to drown the eighth son King Shantanu was devastated and could not take it any further stopped Ganga from drowning their eighth son and took the baby in his hands in a devastating tone he told Ganga enough of your insanity my heart was completely broken and could not take this any further Ganga immediately responded to Shantanu that he broke the deal of their marriage and she was to leave Ganga's curse was lifted in that moment Ganga then told Shantanu anyways now that i have to leave you i still owe you an explanation for my act in another life sage vashishta was living in his ashram and he had a divine cow called nandini one day eight vasus were going across vashishta's ashram and prabasa one of the eight vasus was trying to take this divine cow When Vashishta realized this act of the Vasus taking his cow he cursed all the eight Vasus at that time to be born as mortals with all the limitations and be helpless in their lives just to be aware they say that these Vasus are generally known as immortals who flew around in the vimanas the ancient scriptures have description of these Vasus and their vimanas where the surface of the vimanas was so smooth like the surface of a liquid mercury the scriptures also detail 
how the vimanas fly and land in that time so these eight vasus carrying this curse came to ganga knowing ganga's curse and begged to her that they want to be born in her womb and get done with their mortality upon the planet as short as possible so that their curse can be lifted ganga told shantanu the story of these vasus and spoke compassionately that these eight vasus are our eight babies and i was helping them to get their curse lifted but the eighth one you saved is none other than the prabhasa who actually dared to take the cow from vashishta's ashram so this one will live a longer life and go through all the pain and pleasures of the mortal life ganga further told that she will take their eighth son with her will raise and train him for the throne and will return back the boy to shantanu maharaja at the age of 16 it is this boy of goddess ganga was called as the devavrata also ganga putra and in time he was known as bhishma there are interesting stories all along we will pick them in the upcoming videos